Hello again and welcome to Gabbit Media, I'm Grant Abbott and this is a review of Sculpt January 2019 where I'll be going over some of my images, what I've learnt and different things like that. Maybe what's in the future as well. I'm just going to ramble on as I normally do and talk about the pieces. Uh, so let's start with the Deep Sea Diver. Uh, quite pleased with that one but I'd spent t way too long and that's what I learned on that one mainly was uh, don't go overboard otherwise you will burn out and I suppose with these challenges you have to be a bit careful of that sort of thing and you have to pace yourself so if you do set yourself those those sorts of challenges then be a bit careful about overdoing it on the first few days and I overdid it on this one as well delight it took me a long time and I think that's what I got most from it was uh, speeding up my workflow um, but also I started to think about focusing on poses as well uh, which I thought would be a good thing to develop uh, develop in my sort of uh, skills. Uh, I thought the torso came out quite well, I was quite pleased with that one and it didn't take too long because uh, I just sort of started with my blob and just pulled it out. Uh, this one was a real disappointment and there's a few that I look back at now and I think that's a disappointment but the apple really did not work and I was expecting big things for myself at this point. Uh, the last three had been quite good and this one just failed and it was my uh, first go at Eevee really and it was not going well. Uh, then I was picked up by this one, the Bulldog, which was for spherical um, and I'm still doing a sort of cavity um, bake so I'll probably do a tutorial on that um, but it didn't come out that well on this one because it hasn't got that many big crevices uh, obviously it's got those creases but it's a good fun sculpt and a nice uh, fun idea uh, this one was uh, quite a good one in some ways and not so good in others the um, the uh, what's it the transparency didn't work particularly well in Eevee it took me a long time to figure it out uh, but the trunk and the bark looks pretty dreadful so I was a bit disappointed with that but generally from a distance it looks alright this one I found really good fun uh, for speed but uh, looking back it's not as cool as I thought it was at the time I thought oh this is really exciting at the time but looking back it's it's not that great and I think looking at some other people's work I think the grease pencil would have been quite an interesting one here with some uh, bloom and all that sort of thing could have been quite fun. This one was an annoying disappointment as well. <laughs> uh, Jekyll, and Hyde, Jekyll and Hyde, sorry. Uh, it took me ages this did and I thought it was going to be really special and it turned out quite well but uh, it's one of those things where your eyes are too big for your stomach type scenario where I really thought all these great ideas that's going to be really brilliant and I just couldn't really complete it and do it justice in time. Uh, this one however, where keeping things simple, started with a blob on this one again and just pulled it around and ended up with this rage monster creature. Uh, this, it was really, I thought it came out really well and it's quite good fun and it's quite clean as well. So that was quite nice really. Um, I did kind of the same thing for this character here with the beard, um, but it was a bit blobby. Whereas the Rage one was had sort of sharper, cleaner lines, whereas this one's a bit sort of blobby and um, I, there's a tendency when you're not finishing your sculpts properly, they look all blobby, um, like the liquid in here <laughs> looks all blobby. This one was really good fun and it taught me a lot. Uh, it spent me, a, uh, it spent, I spent a long time on it, uh, but yes, I did really enjoy it. Uh, but there's more that I would like to do with this one uh, actually animate it and have big splodges coming out and it was really quite exciting I thought I could replicate that sort of excitement with this one uh, but it did not turn out that well at all and another disappointment here really uh, because I spent a lot of time on this but just got caught up in things like the cloth and materials and really it's supposed to be about the staff and the staff doesn't look really that exciting and I, I that's another one where grease pencil would have been more interesting and I need to experiment with that this one was quite fun empty treeman uh, from the elf army uh, and that's I think that's come out quite nice I'm pleased with this one uh, the lighting looks a bit better in this one as well than other sculpts and I was getting used to putting more crevices in than I needed to get that sort of cavity map working uh, this one was quite fun as well uh, and a sort of stylized muscular figure. Uh, it could have done with a bit of painting, texture painting, because the sort of silvery and silver and gold look uh, doesn't sell it very well. So it's a, uh, bit, a tiny bit disappointing in that area. 
Now, I really enjoyed this one. This is one of my favorites, uh, just because I started really experimenting with the pose, but also really enjoyed the sculpt as well. And uh, I felt like I was getting somewhere with my sculpting at this point. Yes, it's still not uh, as fierce an action pose as I would like, but I felt like I was getting there. This one, a slight disappointment. It looks all right with Evie um, doing all its thing, uh, but in reality, uh, the hair really lets this one down and I uh, blurred everything and all sorts to try and make it look better than it was. Uh, the face I was quite pleased with, but the hair was dreadful. Hand poses, I mean, there's not much to say about that. I'm quite pleased with those. Uh, they could have done with more detail though. That's uh, where I should have just chosen one and gone into the multi-resolution modifier and used that workflow, which people have been sort of talking to me about uh, throughout this um, process. Uh, yes, yeah, so taking your sculpts uh, re-topologizing them, put them into a multi-res so you can get that more detail. This one was really good fun, but it was very, very frustrating because Blender crashed a couple of times on me with this one and it, it killed me. It was, oh man, that was a frustration. Uh, so the actual sculpt doesn't look that great, but it kind of ends up looking cool because of Eevee. And that's where Eevee really does its job well, isn't it? Uh, with bloom and uh, just dimly lit things, really cool. This one was quite good fun because it, uh, I did it fairly quickly uh, and it came out quite nicely. It's always nice that, isn't it? When you do something quickly uh, and it's just coming together and it's all working. It still looks a bit plasticky. The materials need a lot of work and uh, that's the case with a lot of these. This one, actually, I put some effort into the materials and made it look a bit like a banana. And actually, I was um, getting more comfortable with the text painting in EV um, in Blender 2.8. Uh, so uh, once you get used to these tools, they're, they're no longer a hindrance to you and they're really supporting and helping you. Uh, and that was a good fun one. I enjoyed doing this one. I think the uh, anatomy looks good, but uh, the pose is really off in this one. And that's something I wanted to focus on, but didn't do well here. And the rock looks dreadful. It looks like uh, sort of it's something you see in a, an aquarium, those plastic rocks you can get that you put into your fish tanks and things. <laughs> a bit disappointing. Uh, I like the sculpt on this one again, the, the pose on this one uh, I enjoyed, uh, but again it's down to that uh, the final texturing and uh, showing off the models. Uh, I could generally throughout kind of let me down a bit uh, and didn't really do them justice as I feel anyway. I feel like they're better than they look, <laughs> honestly. Uh, this one was good fun. Uh, it didn't take too long. Uh, it looks like there's a fair bit of detail, um, but it was... I don't know, it, it just seemed to come together quite nicely and there wasn't too many changes to be made, so that was quite a nice one. So I enjoyed that insanity one. And this big fat bear, this, I had a picture in my mind and this was not it. And I just couldn't get to that picture. I don't know whether you struggle with that as well, where you have this idea which you think that's gonna be really great. And then you just can't bring it to fruition in your piece. Uh, it's okay, but it's not what I wanted. <laughs> the healing potion was quite fun. Uh, doing that sort of radial sculpt and testing that out. And that's when I thought I'd do a tutorial on that, which you can see on my channel, uh, Gavit Media, if you're already here, so I don't know why I'm <laughs> advertising it. <laughs> but yes, uh, so this is my first try at that, and I thought, yep, this is gonna be good fun, and I'm gonna uh, do this for ornament, which is the next one, as you can see there. Nicely timed there, don't you think? Uh, and the wood texture wasn't so bad in this one. I thought, actually, that's okay. <laughs> I, I worked a bit on the texture, and you can see this sort of ambient occlusion. I was getting used to that as well, uh, because I didn't realize you could kind of turn it up a lot, and it looks a lot better. <laughs> I know it sounds stupid, but uh, there's weird things I didn't realize with these sort of new nodes that are around. This one was good fun again, delicate, and uh, the image came out well. The whiskers are uh, dreadful. They didn't seem to work in Eevee particularly well. Uh, but it, it came out, uh, I'm, I'm pleased with it still, but uh, there was, uh, and someone suggested, why did I not use a uh, longer uh, millimeter lens, what's it, a uh, focal length, and that would have made the depth of field shallower, and that's what I should have done. This was a bit of a disappointment as well. <laughs> Everything's a disappointment, I'm a big disappointment. Uh, smooth criminal, uh, the hair lets it down dreadfully, and it just looks really plasticky and uh, unfinished. The harpy, however, I've really enjoyed again. Uh, it's it's rough, uh, it's not really finished, the wings are um, a bit blocky, but uh, the shape and the pose I was getting there, I felt like, yes, this is working, and that was good fun. I would have liked to have done more with that, though. Uh, nice, simple one there uh, with pride, uh, and I'm quite pleased with this one because 
uh, I started thinking about thumbnails and experimenting and it was freeing to do that and this is my sort of own creation for a change rather than sort of looking at lots of reference images and taking bits I really sort of just did this kind of on my own I did have reference images but I did it a bit more on my own and this one I went back to using the reference images a lot uh, for Ren from Ren and Stimpy to a degree so it's an adaptation of him because he hasn't got tail and things either so it's not quite that uh, but I did enjoy this one, it was nice to get to grips with the text painting as well. Uh, still bits to learn and people giving me more advice there on how to get the overlay thing working. Anyway, onto the Discord server, well done with all your work. Uh, there was one from Roof and Stent there. Uh, that was a really good one, good idea, smooth, and, and doing a uh, plasterboard like that. I'm really quickly going through them. This is prob I think this is my favourite, although my internet suddenly crashed at, towards the end, so I couldn't remember the very beginning one, sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, really well done on that one, uh, very clever. You can sort of quickly see them as they're going through and I'm whizzing through them. That was a clever one as well. Uh, it just seemed to work nicely, but in a simplistic way, uh, very smart. That still creeps me out, that spider, so it must be good if it's creeping me out. <laughs> it doesn't take much, I suppose, for spiders to creep me out. Uh, but yeah, that was a good one. Uh, some, just, just some excellent work and well done for hanging on in there till the end, everybody. It's, um, it's not an easy challenge. I, I, uh, no, I, I, experience tells me <laughs> it's not an easy challenge. Lovely hands here, really nice. And it really worked with the lighting, that one. Uh, very special, special piece. Um, it, well done, uh, Lirum. I mean, it's kept his name on it. That's a good job there. Uh, some just fantastic, fantastic work. And that was back when um, what's his name was doing um, uh, more uh, risque projects, and there was a risque one in there. <laughs> Uh, Double Tap I think it is, he did some brilliant ones at the beginning, we didn't hear much of him from the end so uh, maybe sort of time got the better of him, uh, but yes some fantastic work throughout, I love this bear as well, that's just a brilliant uh, sculpt, it's really great, uh, uh, so really well done and uh, thanks for keeping going, the, your sculpts kept me going, it's sort of to do it as a community is quite important. So look forward to animation. Oh, that frog was quite cool. Animation, where um, hopefully in May we'll be doing an animation type thing if anybody's interested out there. If anybody's still watching by this point, I always think uh, maybe everybody's switched off by now. So I think there's an average on my videos for about six minutes, which is actually apparently quite good. <laughs> so thanks for sticking on in there, those people that stick right to the end. Oh, there was another good one. I can't remember who did that one, but that was a good one. That might have been Double Tap as well. Uh, yeah, that was a fun one. And I think my internet starts crashing now, so uh, sorry about this. And I just start giving up on it. And sort of, you see me, maybe if I keep nudging it, it will move. Uh, so there we go. Uh, so really well done. Uh, fantastic job um, to all of you. Uh, thank you to all the support I've had, to everyone for all the support I've had. Uh, it's really great uh, having all those comments. And that's really what kept me going. Uh, if it hadn't been for that, I would have given up a long time ago. Well, wouldn't have even started, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, so watch out for uh, animation and things in the future. I'll get back to a few tutorials now as well. So for those people who have been waiting for those, um, I'm on the case. If you've got any suggestions, then uh, do let me know or get across to the Discord server and chat to me there. Thanks for watching. <laughs>